Right, moving on now, under the National Green Hydrogen Mission, the government has rolled out schemes to incentivize manufacturing of electroly electrolyzers as well as green hydrogen. Now, on this note, ahead of the International Conference on Green Hydrogen, my colleague Abhimanyu spoke to the MNRE Secretary Bhupinder Singh Bala and began by asking him about the incentive scheme and also what could be expected from the private sector participation for these schemes. Let's listen in. Since incentive is the biggest component, incentive scheme is the biggest component of our mission. It's 17 and a half thousand crore, uh, what has been approved in the budget uh, for, the, for the mission, out of to total 19,700 crores. For us, the incentive scheme was, was very important to, to roll it out. Uh, so we have two kinds of incentive. One is one incentive for electrolyzer manufacturing, and one is for green hydrogen production. Uh, for electrolyzer manufacturing, the scheme has been finalized, and we are uh, rolling it out today. Uh, we, so we'll have the formal order being issued, and it will be uploaded on our website today. On the green hydrogen production also, uh, we, are, uh, we are looking at at least two models because it's different how do you uh, incentivize production of green hydrogen in the country. The first model, which is pure, simple, anybody can build and make green hydrogen in India. That model one is the scheme is being rolled out today. Model two is we are looking at the demand aggregation model, where we look at what to what the what is the green green hydrogen or green ammonia, or uh, what the Department of Fertilizer or Ministry of Petroleum would like to you know, aggregate or their need as far as green hydrogen is concerned. Based on that, we will come out with a separate scheme for that that model. But that will also happen shortly. Once we are, we are still in consultation with both ministries, so we'll we'll, we'll tweak accordingly. Uh, sir, my final question to you: As you are looking to expand uh, the use of green hydrogen across various sectors, which are hard to abate, and you want to decarbonize them, also a huge amount of investment will be required over a span of the next few years. So, what are the funding models being looked at by the government, and also uh, any partnership being looked at with the private sector? We will be looking at every aspect what is available. Uh, currently, of course, since the projects are largely going to be uh, financed, you know, set up by the private sector, they will be looking at it from their angle. They will have, of course, equity. They will have debt, and of course, debt could also be, you know, could be divided into the term term lending or from the money market. So, based on that, we will have to work with them uh, individually. On an overall basis, we are working with the department. We are we are looking at the total financing angle and looking at how we can, uh, you know, talk to international agencies for uh, seeing at least financing on low cost basis. But these are models which still have to be worked out. But uh, I think we will take it up as as we roll out the scheme and as the. Uh, you know, the need arises. We have an estimate of the requirement. We, we feel that we'll have about 8 lakh crore of investment needed for this mission, for the investment which will come up under the mission. So out of 8 lakh crore, we'll have, let's say, about 5, 5, 5 and a half lakh crore of debt which would be required. So that's something that we'll have to keep working on. All right, on that note, we'll slip into a short breather on business lunch. But up next, we get you a peek into HDFC's legacy house in Mumbai. Stay tuned for all that and more.